We're back. Pre-season gets underway today. We're back at Euston Station for another away game. It feels great to be here. The weather's lovely. The Reds are playing today at Chester. Um, it's nine in the morning now. Gonna have a lovely afternoon up there. A um, few drinks, just completely back in the routine of things. Cannot wait. To what? The new office. I'm looking forward to doing what you do. Less glamorous places like Chester, unfortunately, you end up with less glamorous hotels. And the shower situation, th this is literally what we're greeted with. I've never seen this before in my life. What, what are you supposed to do with this? It's just a... That's it. There's nowhere to put anything. This weather, it feels like it's been around for like four or five weeks, which is absolutely lovely. It's getting flashbacks to Kiev already. And uh, it's what a lovely day to be alive, really. Okay, so, Liverpool FC store in Chester, that's what we like to see. No idea why it's here, but you know. Maybe we'll see Lucas Labour undercover. He's gone and kitted himself out. He's gone and kitted himself out. Look, he's got his new Liverpool shirt. He's chucking his t shirt in the bin. Here comes the first sip of beer of the 2018-19 campaign. Here we go, to the Reds. First of many. So we've just boxed off Fernando's and we're walking to the ground now. Uh, team News is out. Uh, Fabinho and Keita are both going to feature but not together, which is a real spoil sport from Jürgen Klopp. I'm not happy with that. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, um, no... No real major news from the team. There's uh, two different teams for the first half and second half. Looking forward to seeing how we get on. Looking forward to seeing if Daniel Sturridge is, is uh, sharp and fit. Seeing how Devic Rigi gets on on his return. Um, but yeah, it's all about Fabinho and Keita today. Um, yeah, very excited. And it's interesting to see what the atmosphere is like with England game going on at the same time. Will people be paying full attention? Who knows? We'll see. Will anyone leave early? I wouldn't be, but uh, up the red. Hey, <laughs> 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 Just met Jurgen Klopp there and got a selfie with him, so anyone that told me I should have come here can, you know, get it up, yeah.
So two and a half at half time, um, England won it up, you know, so there was a, a booze went around the away and when that got announced, no, I'm joking, it's fine. Uh, Harry Wilson's the best player I've ever seen, Curtis Jones is better than Coutinho, all's good, and that Klein looked really good, Fabinho was okay, um, Origi put himself about. So yeah, good first half. Harry Wilson really was a standout player, obviously two goals, very most Salah-esque running into the box from wide left, wide right. And Jones really good on the ball as well. Um, yeah, good first half. We left at a penalty down the So heading back into the city centre now after that 7-0 win for Liverpool, I've done my thoughts on the game uh, on IGTV and on Instagram live so if you're not following me on Instagram go over there and see what I actually thought about the game uh, I'm sure you've probably seen it by now or at least the highlights say so don't need my thoughts again um, England of course also winning today 2-0 against Sweden so they are in the semi-finals of the World Cup which is obviously exciting for people that are into football in this country and even those that aren't into football it's great to see so many people actually care about football um, that's one positive thing to come from this England run even if you're not really that into it um, you know obviously club of country and all that but yeah, quick one for the Reds, and we move on into the night out. Nice thing to be filming is me! <laughs> Taking over all, we went to Hoffenheim and Maribor, Moscow and Seville. Then we went to Portugal and twatted them 5-0. Okay, We feel dreadful, we don't think we're ever going to drink again. Uh, and now we've got a long train back to London. All round, dreadful blokes. But, you know, all's well that ends well. Back home in one piece. Um, wanted to get the vlog up last night, obviously, straight after the game. Um, concerned no one's going to watch it now, <laughs> now that we're a day on. Um, but the Wi Fi in the hotel was just atrocious, couldn't connect to it at all. Uh, so yeah, there was no chance. Tried hotspot, but yeah, no bother. So, um, never mind. Uh, it was a good weekend. Uh, the booze has taken out of me a little bit. Uh, won't be drinking at many games this season, is my kind of takeaway, and Ollie agrees. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. But yes, yeah, so we're not going to Tranmere on Tuesday, because you've got to save holidays at work. Um, we'll be going to Bury, won't be going to Blackburn, and then it's the US tour, which I will be going to New York for the Man City game. Not going to Dublin or to Reno, so yeah, there's my pre-season plans. I'll see you in the next vlog. I'll see you in the Tranmere preview tomorrow. Thanks for watching and goodbye.